And we got your man's Behana in the building. What's going on, Behana? What's goody, man? Talk to us. Shoot. I mean, basically, you know what I'm saying? I've been on a whole journey with, like, the music and artistry, for real. But um, I sat back a little bit to be on some, like, A&R administration for right now, you know what I'm saying, to try to break an artist as well as me dropping my own project. But, um, yeah, for the most part, you know what I'm saying, I'm putting everything into this project. So I hope everybody, you know, tune in. It ain't going to be no abnormal shit. So I would think everybody would tune in, but, you know, niggas like to hate. Fatherhood, man, you know, it's good. I'm blessed, you know what I'm saying? He blessed. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving that, giving him the world, you know? So <clears throat> I can't wait till, you know, he get to the age where he know, oh, yeah, you know, I'm a executive already. You know, I'm on my DJ Khaled shit as I'm still working. So, yeah, I'm being a good father and getting everything done that I need to get done. And I'm just happy, excited about everything for real. Especially with the new opportunities, new deals. Can't wait. So, you know, I was once independent and went platinum, went gold while I was independent. But at the same time, that's like a nigga. Excuse my French, but that's like a nigga. <laughs> that's like a nigga saying for real. Oh yeah, you know I did everything by myself, and he had a whole team of him and his homeboys that helped him get to the top. How you think that's gonna make you know what I'm saying everybody else feel around him? Like, damn nigga, like we helped you get to the top. You're gonna need help to get to the top. Basically, what I'm saying. You're gonna need a team. You're gonna need to work with corporate. Like how do how you expect to work with Nike? Just make your own shoe and think it's gonna be Nike, or partner up and do good business, and you know what I'm saying. Hopefully yours blow up too, like Nike. You know the the record labels is there to do their job. Like for instance, if I'm an artist and I get signed, their job is to blow me up as much as I want to blow up. So they're not going to look at it with intentions like, oh, yeah, we just, you know, getting him and, you know, putting him right here. Right. Whole time. Like, that's their, they, they get paid off that. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a whole business. You know what I'm saying? You can't think idiotic and want to be a millionaire. Like, that don't go. Yeah. Like, if you get more, you know, known, get your rep up, get your name, get accolades that, you know what I'm saying, you get rewarded for. Then, you know what I'm saying? They ain't going to play around with it then. I mean, if you want to remain independent, I'm not saying, like, you got to sign a deal to get to where you want to get to. No. Nah. I'm saying, in some aspect, you're going to have to do business with the corporate to, you know what I'm saying, get to where you want to get to. That's as simple as that. That's like you trying to get to the league. You think you're going to be able to skip a few steps to get to the league? Or are you going to have to go through everything LeBron, Kobe, Allen Iverson, Michael Jordan went through? They gonna, you're going to do the same thing. So you're basically knowing like what both sides come with. You want to be independent? Just know you got to put 100 times more work. If you want to go gold independent, you want to go platinum independent, put the work in for real. Don't go to sleep. Like... <laughs> I mean, I'm always uh, learning, like, still to this day, I'm still learning. I'm always open to learn. I'm not closed-minded. But at the same time, like, you always got to know, like, exactly where you're trying to go with it. Like, you can't just be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do something and then go try to go halfway or, you know, you got to go full Full head on. Shit. I wake up at like six in the morning. I don't go to sleep until like three. I got permanent bags under my eyes. <laughs> 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 got permanent bags under my eyes. I've been doing this. Imagine going to a studio, like four different studios in one day. Wow. For like four, three years straight. Mm. You ain't getting sleep like that. You ain't doing you know what I'm saying? 
You're not eating like that. It take all that though. Like I did as did all that shit to get to where I'm at right now. Um, before you know, what I'm saying, uh, things start. You know, cause you know, in life, you know, sometimes life just be lifing. So you know, writer's block come all types of shit. But usually, you know, I I be making like three, sometimes four songs, in like. Three hours, four hours. And then I would say, like, my work or process is, like, really easy. Like, mm -hmm. I just look at me recording like I'm making beats. Okay. I use my voice as an instrument. You know what I'm saying? The only other artist that I ever, you know, watched do that, and I'm always here to get flowers, is Thug. Pharrell, Kanye, um, Yachty, you know, he be experimenting. Yachty definitely, like, got a, got a creative influence on the whole industry. Like, he started the whole nail wave, if you, if people didn't peep, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's on some, like, fashion shit. Like, you ain't gonna really understand it. Like, just like, me like niggas not gonna understand they like what the fuck what type of jacket what type of pants like just, it's just fashion expressing your feelings through fashion basically that could be a clothing line too don't try to take it but yeah I'm not human believe it or not you know, I don't care elaborate I have an alien number <laughs> Somebody show me an ID with alien number. Y'all did your ED and your taxes. What it say on it? Alien number, you know what I'm saying? I don't promote it though, cause I end up getting took took back. <laughs> 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 Niggas probably be like, what the, like, what the fuck? fuck is this nigga talking about? Nah, for real though. Mm -hmm. I dead ass don't like I was a I was a young like a youngin asking my parents like, am I really from here and are y'all my parents for real? Mm -hmm. What kid like ever and then I, I built I was building robots, I was building tattoo guns, all types of shit at like seven. No bullshit. I was walking at like Six months. <laughs> I'm abnormal. I've always been different though, and un, like un, misunderstood all types of shit. Like, right. I, I care less what anybody think. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you being a basketball player, and y'all go to the same basketball court. You gonna give a fuck that a nigga got a basketball sleeve? You got all the all the gear. He get on the court, that nigga ass though. And you the one dropping 30. But you only got basketball shorts and you got your own style going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but still dropping 30. But the other need got all the accessories and dropping five points. Oh, listen, Reggae. Okay, so tell us about uh, that. Like, reggae is like. Is that's really from my roots. Like all my my peoples, they from up top. Like you know what I'm saying, Jamaican, Queens, New York type shit. Like, um, so like I always had a a sound for like the bop type of sound, like the Jersey bop songs, um, the Philly, uh, tick shit that came out. I don't really know they shit like that, but. Um, yeah, like, I just love the, the instruments they use for reggae, like, reggae music is definitely, I feel like, the new wave of everything, you put, you make your beats the same way, just with reggae, I'm telling you, sauce, right, right there, right. going in a different bag on these niggas, man, cause they think, you know, I'm just one type of way, like, it's crazy because Cardi, his cameraman from the jump, 
used to stay in my neighborhood back in the day. So like, boom, I was, I used to be running around, you know what I'm saying, doing all types of shit. And um, they was, you know, at the spot and the white Nissan just parked up. I guess he was just showing him like the footage they just took. And I just walked up like, oh yeah, what's up? Good, like, Los, what's good? Like, what you uh got going? Like type shit, like on a regular day type thing. Right. And then I look over, it's like, it's Cardi, but this was before he was, like, even big. He still had the little twist, trying to get dressed type shit. Right. And, um, shit, it was, like, probably three months after that. Next thing you know, I just, I'm hearing Cardi, I'm with Pierre, and I'm hearing Magnolia, and I'm like, what the fuck? He like gets signed to ASAP Mob. Like he did it. I'm like, damn, hell yeah, that yeah. shit was hard. Yeah. Then he had a whole different style. Like I'm like, oh yeah, bro, hard. And um, we always had mutual like folks like, um, R. R. P. To bro, you know what I'm saying, Lord Reese. But he always, you know what I'm saying, taught me like certain shit as far as like fashion. Like we were just kicking it off fashion. You know what I'm saying. I used to come to his crib like, oh yeah, the new drop like. What's the new drop on the Jordans? Like, I'm trying to trade these, dude. Right. But he was always close with uh, Cardi. Right. But, um, yeah, like, I mainly only listen to music I produce or make. That's it for him, reggae. Shoot, you could find me at B Hunter Flexing, B H U N N A P H L E X N. You know what I'm saying? All platforms. And if you want to find my music, type in Flex, P H L E X. You know what I'm saying? Simple. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Music Heads, man. Gotta make your stop here before you even try to blow. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you do that.